if there is a law in the state of New York that it's illegal to jump off the Empire State Building, is the punishment that comes to the person who jumps off, is the penalty that comes from the person who jumps enforced by the state? That is not the law. That's not the law that causes the pain, the suffering, and the death. The law that causes the pain, suffering, and the death, there's actually several. Laws of gravity, law of gravity, laws of physics, and the laws of health. They're being broken by this act, by this choice. These are design laws. This is, the, this is an analogy for the sin problem. So, so in this analogy, the human race, Adam and Eve, were on the top of the Empire State Building. Analogy. Satan comes flying by in the form of a flying serpent. Says, did God say in the day you jump, you will surely die? Oh, no, you won't. If you jump, you'll be able to fly like me. Look, I've got wings. I can fly. And you'll be able to fly even higher. You'll soar into heaven and be like God. And so they jump. And for a few seconds, they're exhilarated. They're thrilled. Until they discover they're going only one way. And then they're overcome with fear. And at that moment, God reaches in his hand. Literally, he intervenes and suspends the ultimate consequences. Romans 3, verse 25. God left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. He suspends it. He creates an artificial bubble of reality that earth operates in, severed or disconnected or shielded from his life-giving glory. Their robes of light go away. They find themselves naked. And a new state, a new state that didn't exist prior to this grace, this emergency measure, the suspension of the ultimate consequence, the sleep death, the first death. This is, an, this is an intervention to allow people to go into suspended animation where their thoughts freeze, their suffering stops. They're put on pause. So the plan of salvation can be... But first death is not the punishment for sin. And, and while the human race in Adam and Eve is, stand, is, is in the hand of God being suspended... God says, if you'll let me, I'll put you back in harmony. I'll stick you through a window. I'll put you back in harmony with the law. I'll intervene in your behalf if you'll let me. And then what happens to those in, in the palm of God's hand, who he is intervening and suspending the ultimate consequence of sin while acts of grace are working to, uh, to get them to allow him to heal and restore them. If they say, if, in the metaphor, look, you're always interfering with my fun. Hey, you're always trying to stop what I want to do. You're taking my freedom from me. I don't want you in my life. I don't want to let you reset me back. I want to do it my way. And they insist, hardening the heart, and won't let God heal them. And God removes his hand, and they continue their fall. What's the cause of their death? Who kills them? That's the wrath of God. The wrath of God letting them go. Romans chapter 1. Verse 18, therefore God gave them up. He let them go. Over and over again. Verse 24, 26, 28. Multiple places in scripture. When you insist and you harden your heart, God removes his hand, recognizes your individuality, your power, freedom to choose, and, and allows you to reap what you have sown. So the Bible teaches, Galatians 6, 8. Those who sow to the carnal nature, from that nature reap destruction, not from God. This is reality. This is design law. This is what's happening.